that's what we need. Organizers say the rally for decency was a way to set an example of how people should be treated and, and, and a way to stand up sure against LePage. We have allowed ourselves to become anesthetized to the constant barrage of hate and venom directed at anyone who disagrees with the governor. The rally was also a chance for people to come out and show their support of Representative Drew Gatine, who received the vulgar voicemail from the governor. Gatine says he's received an outpouring of encouragement from many in Maine. Especially the people in Westbrook have just been, you know, wonderful to me for the last 25 years, but, but, but especially for the, past, for the past week. He says he was asked after a meeting with the governor this morning if he thinks LePage should resign. My answer was yes, and, and, and that is not... That is, not, that is not anything I take pleasure in saying. Um, it is not anything I say with any personal animosity. Um, it's not anything that I say out of anger. But we are at the point now where the person who is in the chief executive's office is not in a position, is not ready and capable and fit to continue to do the job. An opinion shared by others in attendance. This isn't acceptable, this behavior. You cannot threaten a sitting lawmaker. You can't threaten another citizen, period. I think there's a lot of public support, and the governor should realize that people are offended by this and take note of it. I mean, this isn't the first time it's happened, and I think it needs to end. Attendees also left handwritten messages for the lawmaker. I said thank you for your servant leadership in Westbrook. I appreciate your voice in Augusta for us. And I do. Representative Katine says he's appreciative of the support shown and hopes that now that we can move past the situation and focus on the issues impacting the state. In Westbrook tonight, Morgan Sturdivant, WMTW News 8.